Wow, my last video sure got a buttload of views. A buttload is a now obsolete unit once used for measuring the volume of ale and wine. One butt of ale being 491 liters, one butt of wine being 573 liters, and one butt of an obscure channel's last video being 3000 views. I think it is part of human nature to want to measure everything and have a precise scale for that purpose. That's why you've probably never even heard of most of these odd units of measurement. And some you might even be using without knowing that there are actual indexes that represent and precise time, volume and distance, among other things. This video is about those units, and we'll get to the worst slash best ones I found in a jiffy. One jiffy is equal to the time it takes for light to travel 1 cm in a vacuum. Not to be confused with a jiff, which is 16 ounces of peanut butter. And did you know? Every tablespoon of that jiff contains a dash of sugar, a pinch of salt, a smidgen of mono and deglycerides, and just a drop of molasses. This all amounts to 190 calories, which often referred to as a thing rather than a unit of measurement for energy. A food calorie is the amount of energy that is required to raise the temperature of one liter of water by one degree Celsius. So the way you find out the energy that food provides is by of course burning it in a calorie meter. It's also not a custom process for every food. The Atwater system uses the average values of 4 calories per gram for protein and carbs, 9 calories for fat and 7 for alcohol. And if we take into account these measurements, 2.5 tablespoons of that peanut butter has the same calorie content as a stick of dynamite. Of course the energy from peanut butter is released much much slower, which is why, you know, you don't die from it. But speaking of death, there are many ways to measure it. For example, for measuring its statistical probability, actuaries use the micromort. One micromort is one in a million chance of death. So using this measurement, simply being in Florida increases your risk of death by 0.3 micromorts. Simply being in your bathtub, 1.2 micromorts. Being at a workplace, 22.9 micromorts. But those are kids' units compared to a mega death. One mega death is equal to 5 micromorts. But that's just something I calculated using data on fatalities that come from prolonged exposure to certain types of metal. <laughs> but an actual mega death is a unit for atom bomb destruction. One mega death being equal to one million deaths. Whoa, very grim. I don't know if I wanna eat this sandwich anymore. Well, maybe I'll just have a nibble. This one's funny, I promise. One nibble is a computing term for half a bite, get it? This one was a bit of a stretch, poopy. Well, actually, no. Being half a bite would mean that a nibble is actually four bits of a stretch. <laughs> I assume these other food items on the table are also units of measurement. Yes they are, and scientists really hate this one. Measurements are fun and all. Before globalization, people pretty much used their horses or whatever livestock was available, sometimes even themselves to measure stuff. Like you know, you have one horsepower which is equal to three donkey powers which is equal to around 8 to 10 man powers. I'm not making this up. And to end this video, I have a request for the viewer. Pitch me a weird and obscure your index of measurement that you thought of and I might make it an official poopy show unit of measurement. Okay, bye.